Hello, welcome to Lab 4 for Stats 115 and 215. I'm Gigi Ken. I'm your TA for this uh, lab. Um, so this lab is mainly talking about the second part of homework 2. So before our lab material, I'm going to give you some announcement. So first of all, homework 2 is due this Sunday, February 21st, 2021 at midnight. And uh, after homework two submission, uh, please finish the post homework survey. We're going to give some uh, bonus point associated with it. So please do that. And just to clarify, our lab hour is every Tuesday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Uh, and Thursday, 8 to 9.30 p.m. Uh, and uh, our TA hour is every Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, and Saturdays, 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. So if you already watched this uh, video uh, or you attended the, the, the Tuesday lab, you don't need to attend to the Thursday lab. You can pick one to attend. But if you have questions associated to the homework or to the, lab, uh, to the lecture material, you can, um, you can get to us both on the lab hours and on the office hour. We're going to be happy to answer your questions. Uh, so, so for today's material, we're going to talk about uh, this machine learning parts. Uh, we are going to talk about KN, a rich uh, lasso, elastic net, cross validation, logistic regression, uh, SVM, random forest. So before everything, we need to install these packages and load these packages. So if you don't have, you have not installed these packages yet, uh, you can use either install the packages or C manager install to have these packages installed. We're going to need them for the homeworks as well. Uh, so just a brief introduction on machine learning. So one of these uh, uh, most important function of machine learning is to do pattern uh, identification. So there are two parts. The first one is classification. Second one is clustering. So classification uh, is supervised learning. So that means your, your input should have already have labels associated with it, so that your um, so that your algorithm can identify these predefined labels um, and um, learn from these predefined labels and uh, its associated variables. Then, if you input another data to it, it's going to be able to uh, assign a assign a class to that new input. Whereas for cluster uh, for clustering. Uh, is unsupervised learning. So you don't have any uh, predefined labels. Uh, you only use the data provided to identify the similarities um, and uh, try to group them together. So such as the k-means and umap. So the first one we're talking about, we're going to talk about is the KN. So you use the first uh, to use the first k closest neighbors uh, for each member of the test set by comparing the variable x for training data to uh, the comparable x. Um, uh, and based on the uh, vote using these neighbors, you assign a y to the, to the test data sets. So k nearest neighbor is one of the simplest uh, machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning techniques. Uh, and uh, it assumes the similarity between the new case uh, and available cases and put the new case into the category that is most similar to the available categories. Uh, it stores all the available data and classifies a new data point based on the similarity. This means um, when new data appears, then it can be uh, easily classified into a well suit class uh, categories by using KN algorithms. Um, KN can also be used as a, for regression, uh, but it's mostly used for classification. So here uh, is a brief um, example of KN. So we say like this a green circle as the new input. Uh, and if we, we set K equal to three, so we take only the three clo clo nearest neighbors uh, will be these three. Uh, so these two and these two red triangles is going to vote for red and this um, blue, uh, blue square is going to vote for blue. So in this case, uh, two is greater than one. So this uh, circle is going to be color red um, and be put into the same class as the triangle, uh, the, the triangles are. Um, and if we increase the K, K to five, then we're going to have these five neighbors included into this uh, voting set. 
So the three of these uh, blue squares going to vote for blue, and the two red triangles going to vote for red. Uh, in this case, um, the circle is to, going to be colored uh, blue. Um, so the K is really important in KN. So different K is going to give you different class of uh, different uh, dif give you different predictions. Uh, so how to pick a uh, pick a good K? The answer is we use cross validation to get the K uh, gives us the highest uh, accuracy for test data. I'm going to talk about uh, cross validation later. So let's proceed to the another example of KN. So here we're using the leukemia data set. Uh, we take only the, these three class, the AIL, the AML, and the NOL. So before everything, we need to do some data cleaning. So I, we did some data cleaning, and because the uh, the leukemia data set is really large data set, it has uh, several uh, 30, 30 ish something of the patients um, and thousands of genes. So want, uh, so to save some computational power and to save time, uh, we first did a PCA on this um, on this data set, and we take only the twenty, the, the twenty most vari uh, variable, uh, the twenty, the the twenty principal components with the highest vari uh, variance, um, so that we have a much smaller uh, dimension, um, and then we um, we split it into test data sets and the train data sets, uh, and we store the labels into type train and type test. And then we use this uh, control train control uh, function to specify a control, which we use the cross validation with uh, a, with five uh, actually it's a fivefold cross validation. Uh, so uh, and we take we measure the metric matrix of uh, accuracy. So we use this function train uh, to train um a can and use method can and to train a Kenyan is neighbor classifiers. Uh, and then the control is going to pick uh, the best K for us. Uh, we, we set the K range from one to 10, uh, and the control is going to help us to pick the best one from it. And then we use this pre-trained KM to, t uh, to predict the label for a test data set. Uh, and we, did, we used the confusion matrix of this, pre uh, this prediction and the, the real, um, real labels of this test data set. And we can see from here, um, uh, it, uh, the classifier did a pretty job, pretty good job on um, classify the K, uh, the AIL and uh, the NOL. Whereas we have, we, where we say we see the accuracy is one hundred percent and one hundred percent. However, for the AML, two of them are misclassified as AIL, and three of them are misclassified of at, at, as NOL, just one of them does is pred predicted correctly. So it's not doing a very good job on AML. It's probably because there is a close, this like AIL and AML is very close together. And uh, yeah, it's just probably because AML doesn't have a very class, very um, dense cluster itself. Uh, but we want to see the accuracy. We got 0 0.6875, which is pretty good because if we're our model, uh, our classifier is doing a terrible job. We're going to get something like zero point three three three. We have three class, three classes. Yeah, so zero point six eight seven five is still like an okay accuracy. But uh, we're, we're from this uh, confusion matrix, we just know that AML prediction is not so good. 